Hello everyone, Dr. Siddiqui here. I'm joined by Dr. Lamberti. Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about nausea and vomiting or morning sickness in the first trimester. Let's get started. Sickness refers to the feeling of nausea that most women experience in their first trimester. So what is caused or what causes these symptoms? Many women suffer from this. 85% mm -hmm. of women in the first trimester suffer from nausea, while up to 60 to 70% have vomiting. The main cause of this is the hormone that helps support the pregnancy in the first trimester called progesterone. It slows things down as well as slowing down the intestines. Mm. Therefore, food cannot be digested as well, and that triggers nausea vomiting. Okay, very good. So the best treatment for nausea and vomiting is prevention. What are some advice that you give to your pregnant patients in order to avoid having these symptoms? Number one, uh, eating small meals. Uh, forget those large three meals throughout the day. Uh, eat four, five, six meals. Uh, start out real early in the morning before you even rise with some salting crackers. Uh, we want to eat carbs. Carbs are key here because they're easily digested. Uh, stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. uh, drink plenty of fluids, especially sports drinks like Gatorade. Mm -hmm. uh, try to drink them not without your meal, but before and after, 30 minutes before, 30 minutes after. Mm -hmm. um, Lemon, just the smell of lemon sometimes is, is soothing and it can help uh, prevent nausea and vomiting. Mm -hmm. But lemonade, uh, maybe adding ginger to that lemonade, large amounts of natural ginger can help prevent morning sickness. It's been studied throughout the world. Not just a little ginger ale, not just a little ginger tea, which helps by the way. A little ginger ale has sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, ginger tea has ginger and lemon usually. And so they help, but adding ground natural ginger from the root to your stews, to your rice, to your lemonade, mm -hmm. that helps even more. Light exercise, low impact exercise can help yoga, Pilates, mm -hmm. uh, any exercise that can take away the blood flow that comes to the stomach area, away to your extremities, mm -hmm. uh, can help uh, alleviate. Even the, stretching, absolutely, that, that can help. Well. Absolutely, mm -hmm. avoiding certain meals, certain types of foods, acidic, mm -hmm. uh, spicy foods, mm -hmm. tend to um, so no Indian cause, food. <laughs> or unfortunately, as good as it is, yes, try to avoid the spicy foods. Okay, yeah. very good. So let's say we do all of this, but we we'll continue to have these symptoms. What are other options to control this nausea? Or vomiting what are some medications that is safe during the first trimester of pregnancy you definitely want to seek help if the preventing tips are not helping you uh, you can get very dehydrated uh, by not being able to tolerate things to eat and it can happen very quickly especially in very hot weather so it's important that you seek help from your uh, physician or provider there are a few medications that are very safe in pregnancy in the first trimester. Number one is diclegis. Mm -hmm. It's a new formula based on an old formula of an old medication that uses vitamin B6 and doxylamine as their main ingredients. Mm -hmm. You can find these two ingredients over the counter if your insurance doesn't cover diclegis. Uh, vitamin B6 should be taken three times a day, 25 milligrams, and doxylamine, the sleeping pill, should be taken at night before bedtime, also 25 milligrams. The combination of these can help you prevent nausea and vomiting of pregnancy or morning sickness. We also have medications that can help treat vomiting. So when vomiting becomes intractable, ondansetron or Zofran can help you treat vomiting uh, in pregnancy. 
Uh, the neat thing about this pill is that it's made in a dissolvable form, mm -hmm. so it can be used instead of having to use like a suppository of another uh, medication or having to go to the hospital and get something else through the IV, mm -hmm. you can use this dissolvable form to uh, help treat the vomiting when you're not able to keep anything down. Mm -hmm. And it works pretty well and fast. Yes. Yeah, yes. so um, we can use uh, Zofran anywhere from every six to eight hours as needed, but if it gets to that point and if it's persistent, then it's best that you seek your provider. Absolutely, and we have other options. You know, before we have to admit you to a hospital to mm -hmm. give you uh, something by the IV, uh, we can use another medication called metoclopramide or Reglan. This one helps move things along uh, in the intestine. It actually complements Zofran or Andansetron very, very well. Uh, we also can use medications that reduce the amount of acid, anti-acid medications uh, like Tums, uh, Pepsi, uh, Prilosec. Uh, those medications can also augment mm -hmm. the uh, um, effects of Zofran and uh, Reglan. Beautiful. So in our next video, we will be talking about acid reflux, what are, uh, what are some things you can do to prevent it, and what are some safe medications that you can take. Absolutely. Great. Stay tuned.